Ah, we are working. like to call the October 2nd bid board meeting to order. We have a quorum. Um, looking for a motion to approve the minutes from September 4th. Motion to approve. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, item number one, financial report. Adam. Morning. Um, Morning. Under the 96248 budget, you have an actual to date of, as of September 26, 2018, $53,002.54. Total encumbrances of 18213 and 25032 available. Uh, Mike, before we go any further, I just point of order. I'm not sure. Could I make a motion to accept the minutes? I was not here at the last meeting. I think you do. Mm, I don't know. We could redo it and let somebody else do it just to cover. I ourselves. guess I would feel better about that. I'll make the motion to approve the meetings from last month's meeting. The minutes. The minutes. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Approve the <laughs> minutes from last month's meeting. <laughs> Somebody want a second? I'll second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thanks. I'm Sorry not sure of that, that, but yeah. I will look into that. I'm, it just crossed my mind. I'm like, I wasn't even here last minute meeting. I can't. I, I have a feeling you're right. <laughs> okay. Thanks. So any questions on the financials? Hey Adam, we have a they have some issues with their iPads can't see things. Since I have my yeah, I was since I have my laptop, yeah. I can't. Just the, the agenda, not the packet. <laughs> so what did you do? I hit agenda and then agenda packet. Yeah. Is that right? Oh, yep. yep. I have one for everybody. Sorry. It's all right. He hit agenda packet. Thanks. You got to do Kathy's. Okay, everybody else set now with their technology. <laughs> Any questions on the financial report? Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, Next item on the agenda is downtown marketing review. Um, I don't know which of you guys are going to do a presentation, both or one or. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Anna Jensen, Downtown West Bend Association. And Jeannie Rennick, Savoring Time, representing the Diva Group. And this is a combined uh, review since we did spend the money together and worked with some of the board members to develop the marketing plan. 
So this is a review of what we did this year. So this year, our budget was given 9625 It went towards a walking map of the downtown, which you guys have this. Diva Group sponsorship, event guide slash promotions, plays and programs, park and rec booklet, and then signage at the Kettle Remain Ice Center. So the walking map in front of you, we printed 3,000 back in April. They've been distributed multiple places all over town. We've got a lot of positive feedback on this. It has events, a map, a listing of all the downtown businesses inside, things to do downtown. Uh, then some of the sponsorship uh, for the DV events, these are some of the ads that have been run, and it's not just one ad that goes in for one Sunday or one day. It's uh, business builder ads, and they run for eight to ten times in both the Daily News and the Post. Um, that's for the Diva event, the Spring Bling one. And then these are um, some of the ones that we've done just for general downtown marketing. Um, throughout the year, June, July, these were run again as business builders to bring people downtown uh, for all the events going on. And this is another one. The Downtown West Bend Event Guide, that's also in front of you. It's got the Downtown Association events and then other events happening in downtown on the backside. And we distributed over 3,000 of these throughout the event season. This is the board that is at the Kettle Moraine Ice Center. It's displayed for a whole year, August, of this year until August of 19. They have an eight month season and between those eight months they get 90,000 to 110,000 visitors during that time. So this ad was developed for the Parks and Rec book and then we used it um, as well at the Shower Arts Center and it's also starting at the Kettle Marine Symph Symphony. Um, the one coming up now for winter will be in full color and we'll use those at the other two facilities as well. The Downtown Association also invests in our own marketing. We do online, print, radio. Um, we print our own posters and rat cards, our website. And the Diva Group as well does um, online and social media advertising, print, um, we have a website, and each shop also invests numerous dollars into their own marketing. The Diva Group and the Downtown Association would like to continue to provide marketing so uh, services to the bid to encourage economic impact to our downtown. We would like to request the same amount for next year, 9625 to continue to market our historic downtown. So now we have questions from you guys, comments, any discussion? Is, is this being duplicated anywhere else? Is the chamber doing this or is, is there any other? So the chamber um, does receive funds, I think, from the tourism or yeah. the hotel stays and they work with a marketing uh, group out of Baraboo. And I'm, I mean, they don't do anything like the walking map. There's no map for downtown of any businesses. This is the first piece we've ever had since I've been downtown in six years. And I give out at least five a week, if not more. Um, everybody is so thankful that they have something to use and throughout the downtown. And then um, people have commented, we're finally doing marketing in our downtown. There's never been anything. And now the last two years, it started to come out. So it's in conjunction with what they're doing for Washington County. Um, and I, these are just comments I've heard. Is, is this updated annually? as far as uh, businesses that are listed on here? Or? So we did one run and we will be doing another one because we are out of all the 
the current maps and so we before we go to print we will update it um, and put the new businesses that are here and ones that have left yes thank you well I, I love I love everything you guys have done and and uh, I know you guys did a really good job of we have these uh, on display out in the vestibule for, right by the front door at the restaurant and I see you guys coming in and refilling them so I know people are taking them and uh, no I think it's absolutely great thank you thanks is there any chance that uh, we can see the uh, budget and uh, income from the downtown West Bend Business Association um, in regards to what reason I mean I think it would be of us to see uh, how much money is being taken in by the by the downtown uh, business association and Diva. so, so um, the downtown business association only makes its money from music on Main and farmers market there's no other funding coming in aside from the 2000 they got this year from this marketing group to help cover uh, pay for some of the posters and marketing pieces they do the rest is only made and funded by music on main and farmers well there market. must be some kind of a budget that you have for music and everything yeah, on is. main and what you take in and that well herb the problem is is that it can vary every single year because if we have if we have three rainy nights in a month you're not making anything so I mean yeah there's always going to be a budget but what you make year to year is going to be so vastly different because it's completely weather driven well there must still must be some accounting of some kind uh, yeah I mean I am sure that there is you have to report is, it to the government right but what what would what does that have to do with what they're asking I think this uh I think what they're looking for, right, is uh, for you know some help to market downtown, and I think it uh, you know uh, fits within our operating plan uh, to help support those functions that they're out there on the street, you know, hitting the pavement and and uh, doing all the work for us. So um, yeah, I I agree. I think that uh, that's irrelevant. I guess. So the, the question that I have is, is I think this is what, the third year, fourth year we've been doing this? Third, the, the third. Okay, so I don't remember what we did the first year, but the second year you guys focused a lot on television and did a, did a bunch of the um, morning blends. And then this year you did this. Mm -hmm. Do you have any statistics that show the cause and effect, I mean, the, the what was better and what you know now that you've done two different things do you have anything that shows what did a better job of producing revenue for the businesses downtown or bringing people into the downtown i guess i'm looking back at the presentation we got from moa where there was some real specific statistics that said here's how much revenue that you know here's what the economic impact was on the community which was really, really helpful, and it makes me look at it and say, hey, you know, if MOA came to me, they've got the, the, the statistics behind it to say, here's, here's what it's doing, and this is why you should be a part of it. I'm not saying we shouldn't be, but I would like to see, you know, even like Diva, I'm not asking for a, a private business to give us their numbers in no way, shape, or form, but it would be nice to hear, hey, when we did a Diva event, you know, there was 12 of us involved, and we saw a 15% bump in in business year over year. So I we did show uh, share that with you last year, and um, we had some of the businesses that gave their results, and their business increased on our diva, our big diva events, anywhere from 350% to 871% for sales per day. So that was, I have three specific businesses that gave their specific numbers. Um, it wasn't a combined by everyone, but we had some that wanted to help give you guys some numbers since you do ask for that. So do we know what, what the impact was of the advertising that was done this year versus the advertising last year? And I'm asking only because looking to point a direction of, okay, we tested two different things 
where are we going to go next year and what's the what's the plan and and what what do we have behind it to back it up i guess is all i'm asking we haven't done any studies. we we haven't like sat down and reviewed numbers i mean like we do have statistics of how many people music on main brings down and how yeah. many people the farmers market market brings down and that could be the impact um like moa had how many people come for that chart the chalk fest i mean that was huge in the impact in the downtown but every saturday so is the farmers market um and we don't have a marketing team behind us uh you know we're doing this as we're trying to run our own businesses. Um, so I guess we can give you numbers of farmer's market and music yeah. on main. And then we have the numbers increased from the diva events. And the diva events, um, we've done the same marketing most of the years for that, aside <coughs> from the morning blend. How many of these flyers did you have printed this go? These? Yeah. 3,000. And you, did you say you're out? Uh, we have maybe 100 left. Well, that's pretty good so we can one statistic would be uh, that you've got almost 3,000 unique impressions um, which you know I think this has all the businesses in, in downtown so I think it does a yeah. good job of um, exp so that's some good impressions right there and so the first year in 2016, we, we received $5,000 and that was split between the morning blend and general diva advertising like we've done for the spring bling and fall diva. And then in 2017, um, we received 11,500 and like over 5,000 of that went to morning blend commercials and mo our morning blend segments. And now this year, so that was more Southeastern Wisconsin. This year now has been more local and then we just wanted to expand it out next year more into Washington County. That was the plan that um, working with Kathy and Brian that we mm -hmm. came up with. This year do local, next year go a little further more into Washington County to keep bringing people in. And I guess we wanna know since there was no money put into the budget for marketing specific, does it behoove us to spend time on this or is it something that we're gonna come here you know, many times and? and not receive any funds so i guess you know we have want some questions yes. answered before we put I, all I the get, time in i it. guess my i'll go i'll be the first to answer it because i'm the one that's been pointed at for taking that term out of the budget um as i said the last meeting when the budget was approved nobody said that marketing was coming out we kept it open-ended very specifically so that <clears throat> once we find out what happens with the commons this weekend what their recommendations are we don't have to go back to the council to redo our budget if they say do x and we need to have money to do that there's two points in that budget that marketing can come out of and nobody ever once said including Brian asked point blank if it was there and it was answered that yes there is money available in the contingency and in that line item so nobody is saying there won't be marketing money okay, okay. unless okay. these guys decide they don't want to have marketing money but um, I think everybody is in agreement that you know we need to do something what it is at this point nobody knows what it is I would ask for a proposal and say here what do you guys suggest um, by state statute this board is required to have plans in place and then do contracts as you know based on so that we have performance um, marks that are being hit in order to distribute that money so my feeling is and this group can say that what they want to say if you guys want to propose something and bring it forward i'm all in favor of it i think we should continue it i'm all in favor of advertising and promoting so you know i guess ask the rest of them what they think but and we should see what the comments comes out with i'm sure there's going to be something in there that's going to say you need to market the downtown and here's how you should market it so you know quite frankly i i'm kind of waiting to see what these guys come up with i'm pretty excited about what's going to happen this weekend well, I think that's what they did do, though. I think they came here and proposed to us saying we'd like to 
have the same amount of money at least for for once there's a, a few people joining together and promoting putting together promotional pieces for the downtown which hasn't been done in years um, they're you know I think they're looking back in a, a few years ago they were given eleven thousand dollars and they spent the majority of that on the morning blend and then they realized that they were much better off together and doing a more local effect of getting the word out there to everybody in our own community as to what's going on downtown so I think that this is their proposal am I misunderstanding that I ladies think you're, I think you're right on, on that and I like what you've done I think mm -hmm. you did a good job I like um, the promotional pieces that you've done um, I think it better targets who you're trying to reach um, and I I can see uh, moving forward with putting the dollars towards your promotional pieces again I think it makes sense so are you asking for the same budget for the exact same plan as last time because no, it just says just you're asking for ninety six hundred dollars but it doesn't tell us for what Right, we will we will line item that out more clearly. But yeah, we're just saying we'd like that amount. Is it available? Should we work towards that amount? Because when you're developing a marketing plan, you kind of need to know the dollars you're going to get, so you can figure out how you want to spend them for the best bang for your buck. If you go back to page fourteen of your presentation. This is the all-in DWBA marketing budget for you guys spend 7300 bucks a year? That's what we spend for marketing our own events. So you're asking the bid to contribute much more than that? Well, you have, you have the downtown. That's the downtown them, budget. We don't know what the DIVA budget is. is she didn't uh, list that. I was going to point that out. Yeah. I'm getting there. Okay. So the Diva Group, um, you know, we market our events based on everybody pays into each event. So any event we have, we pay into, we don't really have a, much of a checking account. It's about $1,000 just to cover the little expenses that we have throughout the season. And each event, it comes in and it goes out to pay for the marketing and uh, things that we need to print for each of those events. Okay, but the Diva is how many businesses of the total downtown? Um, it ranges anywhere from um, probably 15 to 25 people throughout the downtown that participate. Is it primarily retail or is there service it, businesses? It would be retail and it would be restaurants. So there's a focus on that? Correct. So how do we spread this money around to benefit more of the people that are uh, part of the bid well of the money that we got two thousand dollars of that at the most goes to the diva group the rest is marketing the whole downtown okay so back to my original comment we've got a ninety six hundred dollar request and your total budget is seventy three hundred for the year to promote downtown that is our marketing that we do for our events above and beyond the money right I'm just clarifying yeah. that yes so you're asking the bid to contribute to your budget more than your own budget. I think what they're saying is is that their budgeted dollars are more targeted toward their specific events where I think the dollars you're asking for from the bid are to promote the entire downtown, that correct? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, the money that we that you you know like through the presentation you saw a lot of those dollars went to market the whole downtown the whole bid not specific events for the downtown west bend association or diva so really more than half of the money spent was on marketing the downtown in general can you can you, the question i have for diva is um it's your page I believe eight, where you have all the businesses listed. How many of those businesses are not in the downtown? Um, of those, there are two. One south and, or maybe three, one in Barton, two in Barton. Yeah. I'd like to maybe pigtail a little bit off of Tony's uh, comment here. <coughs> um, 
I guess, and, and maybe the answer to it, Tony, is the fact that the Diva Group is, is a retail-based organization. Yep. We don't have any buddy coming to us for these marketing dollars that represents necessarily a specific other uh, group. So there's no service-based uh, group in the downtown other than the downtown association that is supposed to cover all of the businesses. But um, the Diva group is specific to the retail and food side of things. So until we get another group in here that is requesting dollars to do a specific event for the service industry, um, I guess the money that we're giving to these folks to do retail-based events is specifically that. Now, what we might get out of the commons group might necessarily focus on some other aspects of uh, different groups. And one of the thoughts that I have is, and I have a bunch of for and against, or pros and cons for this whole thing, but one of the things is that we're faced with only two groups that are requesting marketing dollars from us from the bid. I'd like to see six or eight or 10 groups that come before us every year with six or eight or 10 different ideas so that we could better decide where our money is going. But at this time, this is our options. And they're doing a really good job. They're putting a lot of effort and dedicated uh, thought into these uh, things. So uh, for that reason, I, I would continue to, uh, to support these folks. Uh, although the retail events focus on only maybe a quarter of the entire downtown um, businesses, they are, taking that bull by the horns and we don't have anybody taking the service side of that and requesting funds for that. Um, uh, and on the side of uh, against or a, a con is not all businesses necessarily appreciate these events. They don't want a trolley running up and down the, the street. Um, they, they don't find any benefit from it. Um, so it's, it's hard for us to say that all of the dollars that we have available for marketing are only going to a retail event. But again, that's those are the only folks that are coming and asking for that that money. So it's hard to say that we shouldn't give it to it, give it to them. Uh, along with what Herb was suggesting, um, you know, can you prove the hardship? Can you prove that you need this money? That's why we'd like to see the 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 budget. If we're giving you money that you don't necessarily need, we feel that we could maybe do different uh, or better with that money. So if you're just at requesting money for the sake of paying your salary no. at the end of the day, well, I'm just saying we don't know that. You're not willing to show us your budgets. So for, as far as we're concerned, we don't know if you need this money or if you are super profitable and this is just padding a, Heading the way along. Well, what we'll have to do on that is um, ask the board at our next meeting. Yeah, I, um, I think that would be it. Would it would provide a, a it would feel more fair, right. I guess. You know, like you're you're asking us for money. We're saying, well, do you need the money? And if you say yes, well, you know, it'd be nice if you could back that up somehow. And I just I feel like that would be more fair, and it would be more a, appreciated by. The re the rest of the of the committee here, um, on my on my on my pro side, um, I've always believed that government isn't in business of making money, and that we should redisperse the money to people who are going to best use it. And in this case, the the, the bid board is meant to support the the businesses in the, in the specific area of our of our city. Um, we do require uh, marketing. Now, events might not be the, the exact answer that we're all looking for, but marketing is important. So um, I do believe the events provide a fresh breath of air to the standard business as usual down there, and that's really unique and fun. Um, so that would be my, my, my four. I put on an event every year. The people that I go to to support my event don't necessarily ask me for a return on investment. They don't ask me how many people were there. They don't ask me how, my, how big the donation was that I made to the organizations that I say I'm going to make a donation to. They're supporting that quality of life that's different from the normal operating procedures of day-to-day -day 
business in West Bend, and that's what they like about the event that I put on, and I believe that's what we should appreciate about the events, events that you put on. And at the end of it, everyone is invited. You, you, the events that you put on, I know you open your doors to everybody to participate. Some people decide not to participate. That's their prerogative, and I think that's fair, and I'm and I think that's that's that. That's all I got. So I want to finish my point, which was nobody here is suggesting, to follow up on Mike's comment, not to support your organization. But we have questions. Um, I certainly ask a lot of questions when I'm asked to spend money in my own business. Uh, so I just wanted to clarify your budget. I think I asked two years ago if we could see that financial information that we continue to seem to ask for. But we've not seen that. Uh, so we just have to believe those are the dollars that you need. Um, so at this point, we ended the last meeting with uh, agreeing that we made a significant investment in the upcoming project with the Commons, and we were hopeful to see what they came up with to make some decisions of that bigger, broader definition of marketing dollars. Uh, I'd like to see that event happen. Um, for you to suggest that it's a waste of your time to come to us and propose something is disappointing because we've supported you every year you've come to us. So we have a track record. I just think it's a little premature to, to ask us to commit to dollars until we get the project from the commons to show us what they're offering. If there's no good ideas there, then I'm back to what you just said, which is you're the folks coming to us. But if they come up with 10 different great ideas, we only have so many dollars to allocate towards that. So to commit to that today just seems a little premature when we're a week away from knowing the results of that. Tony, or anybody, is, do we know from the commons group if they come up with these ideas, are we still going to need somebody to implement the ideas? We don't know any of that yet. Right. So, so. I, I wonder if, you know, once we get some of these ideas, we could possibly run them past Anna or the Diva group and say, hey, you guys, are you willing to take on these events? Because here's the sort of money that might go along with those events. And here's another opportunity for you to do what you do best. On a broader range, because we have focused in the past a certain segment of business. And I think it's our job with the budget we have to try to disperse that across as many people as the bid as possible. Yes, right now there is nobody coming to us, but maybe we'll find out from this big investment we're making that there is an opportunity for that. So it just seems to be a little bit early um, as far as committing to a dollar amount. I don't, I don't disagree. I mean, I, I definitely want to support it. I just, you know, that we, we did we're spending a lot of money on this and i think we at least need to see what the results are and to mike's point you know this is it's kind of like a second group coming in and saying here's what we want to do um, except they're telling us what we need to do um, my hope is when this is all finished they're going to come up with a solution of you know how are we going to fill the buildings to get more of the office rental and that kind of stuff that was my original take so i see that being part of it i see this being a part of it i see that whole mixture being a part of it but nobody at this point knows what each part is um so to say you know should we waste our time i guess you know we can we can sit and we can you can say, hey, I, it, to me, it's a waste of time to put together a proposal for the next meeting. Um, but then if all of a sudden we decide, hey, this is what we have to do, and we don't have any hard proposals on, in front of us, then where do we go? So I get you, you guys have businesses around. You got, it's a, it takes a lot of time. I totally understand that. Um, you know, and I don't know how we get the results from the commons is that everything comes on saturday but not everybody from this board is going to be there so really it won't be till the november meeting that we get a real hard but that's here's what what's going on is there going to be some type of report that will that we could see what they are yeah, recommending I, i'm guessing for? they come to us they're, they're going to come to a meeting and give the report or are they going to give it to you on saturday and then you present it if they don't come then i will um be giving everybody everything and i'll if Depending on how it's pieced together, I'll piece it together in in my own way as well, and disperse it for everybody in the downtown bid to look at and use in their own way. Yeah, never having done this, we're not exactly sure what all these steps are, but 
Right. There's definitely be something that will come out of this to say, here's, you know, there's, here's your five questions you asked us to come to solutions with. Here's our recommendations. And then it's up to the board to figure out what, to, you know, how to do it and where to go. And we may look at it and go, we're not going to do that. That's crazy. And the organization might very likely be the organization that's going to implement these ideas because there's nobody else. So exactly. I, I just think we have to pause for a second. I, I, I realized the last two times you came to us, there was TV involved, there was schedules, you had to you know, set schedules. If you're asking for the same money for the same print material, there's no deadline at this point. I mean, we certainly can let this event happen, see what ideas they come up with. Maybe there's something... You know, just repeating the same thing makes sense. I, I love the map. It's great. Uh, the fact that you're down to 100 is good. I, I'm not sure you have 100 in stock or there's 100 out in the community. I'm not sure they're all gone yet, but there's no time sensitivity to this. We can let this big investment play out this next week and come back to it and say, okay, here's what they suggest. Here's the dollars we allocated. Who can do it now? We don't even have those answers. And if it's you, then you might get a good portion of that budget just in a different area. It just seems premature to me. Yeah, and really, that's really what we're just trying to get a gauge from. We put that out there so we kind of know where we need to go forward for the future. And you've answered it. And that's really what we're looking for, just to know that we can come back and make a proposal. Yeah. Are you guys under a, a deadline of any sort for anything coming up that you typically... I mean, we, uh, looking at looking at this stuff, uh, you know, there's no real need for anything towards, do you do a winter, are you doing winter on Main this year or anything like Just that? Just one date this year, December 7th. Okay. And, and we still have money left that we're still going to create more things for, so we'll kind of try to carry it over like we missed this year, the first four months, and a few things that we wanted to get into, but now that we know how it works, we're a little better prepared. I think we have a track record of working as a partnership, but the timing has to be right. right. So nobody said no. That's all we wanted to verify. Any other questions? So, no, I don't have any. And it was done as a presentation, so we can't make a decision anyway. No. Okay. Uh, just one, Kathy and Brian, are you guys gonna continue to work with the ladies on marketing? Absolutely. If, yeah. if, they, yeah. if they would like to help, I'm always happy to do that. I just have one comment. <clears throat> it, would be, it would be interesting to see if we subcontracted this out, what it would cost to do the same thing that these ladies are doing. And I'm not saying that we need to do that, but it's just a thought. I think we had a company come in a yeah. couple years ago. It was, uh, was 20, 25000 a year. Well, that comment just makes it sound like, again, we're deciding not to, and I don't get that. I, I just don't, nobody's saying that. So I, we're going around in circles here. Yeah, I, Let's I let agree. this weekend I, happen. I, I agree with where we're leaving it today. Okay. All right. So if there's nothing else on item two, let's go to item three, which is, again, marketing. Um, di Discover Wisconsin participation, discussion, and decision. Um, there was a... There's been a group of individuals um, spearheaded by Jay. Um, do we have a video? PowerPoint. Or a PowerPoint? Um, the, there's been a group which includes the BID, MOA, um, Downtown Association, Washington County. Who else was in that room? Community Cable. Chamber. Who was the other one? Oh, yeah, the chamber was there. Um, and there's a proposal on the table to do a Discover Wisconsin segment in West Bend in 2020. Um, they would do all the filming in 2019, and then there would be the show would be um, put on in 2020. So Adam has a little presentation here, um, and then we can talk about what they're looking at financially. Okay, so like my, Mike said, um, a group of individuals met. Um, here is the packet that we used. Um, they, this is their, here's how long we've been around, longevity statement. Um, who they are, Discover Wisconsin, if anybody hasn't seen them, but it's the Saturday morning show, I think it's at 10 a.m. Um, and uh, their marketing campaign, which is a, 
I guess this is what you guys would really want to be focused on is their TV, radio, um, over the top, their social media, which I have right here as well in just their Facebook page. Um, they have a significant following. And then... How many followers? Yeah, I wish it would scroll down. So... Where are we at? Uh, 161,000 followers. And then... They have a blog that they'll do on West Bend. Um, their e-newsletter, trade shows, calendar events. Our calendar of events will then go on Discover Wisconsin as well. So like the downtown associations things, uh, the music on mains and what those will be, they'll be able to click a link and everything will link up to what we have going on in West Bend and what our episode would be all about. Um, <clears throat> so the city then is requesting that the downtown bid does help in making this happen for the city. Uh, there's their reach on the radio show. Uh, they do two airings over the two year period and they're doing Roku TV where they can get hard numbers for and who's clicking, who's seeing this, what their demographics are and wh where they're surrounding. At the same time, um, they're also getting into the fire TV, uh, the fire stick and other areas. So by 2020, they can be a part of that. Um, more Roku information. Uh, this is going to be your target individual, we'll say. Uh, females and males, 35 plus, um, live, work, and play in Wisconsin. I accidentally watched, well, not accidentally, but stumbled upon the episode <clears throat> this Saturday and ended up watching. So um, Allison and I would get along. Then Monday through Friday, 52 weeks a year, they have their radio show. They would do a couple of radio episodes on this. Um, <clears throat> yep, so annual visits to discoverwisconsin.com, 1.5 million. Yeah, the episode itself on this particular area would stay um, on their page for a two week period and then kind of cycle through and either be the second option, third option, and then work its way back around. They do 20 or 22 episodes in a year, I think it was. So we would be one of those, and I think we're slotted in for whatever um, time we'd want um, as far as month, because if you choose it towards the end of the summer, then you're gonna want it more winter focused. Choose it towards the beginning of summer or spring. Or, um, you're gonna want you know, more getting ready for summer focused. So there's that. <clears throat> there's your calendar of events. Kind of shows it on there. How long does the calendar of events show our events you said that we could go on their website with our events mm -hmm. do you know how long that stays on their website then our calendar of events or are that linked to our calendar of events um, I would guess at least for the two-year period considering that they're saying this lasts for two years yep so the two-year air period um, but then we're archived on their site for however long I don't think they delete any of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so there's the bobber, they'll write a blog. They'll also have uh, their social media expert type people that are also their hosts come out, enjoy West Bend, enjoy downtown West Bend, maybe go visit a restaurant or two, but really just post as if they're you know, really doing it. Or maybe, I guess they would be, but um, saying, hey, check it out, we're here, that sort of thing. And those usually get a little bit of attraction on their Facebook site. Um, so there's that. Oh, there's their social media stats too. Um, the 162,000 plus likes on Facebook is um, usually what everybody's going towards or really keying in on that number. Newsletters will go out and they have uh, media relations. So they are also marketing their own um, product so that they'll see our product on their platform. More of that continued, they'll go to trade shows. Um, we'll be, we'll, we'll have our information there. And here is a, here's your dollar amount. Total campaign investment would be $40,000. Um, 10,000, so they, they like to try and encourage places like West Bend to uh, really break those up into segments so that 
it's ten thousand dollars for one segment so if we go to a different larger organization and say would you partner with us so we're not footing the entire bill and we're all getting a little bit of something out of it so that's where we come to the board uh, the bid board here and say how about a segment so why don't we let them know who's already kind of committed um, MOA has committed to um, one segment of ten thousand dollars Downtown Association, I believe, has committed to a half a segment of 5,000. Is that correct? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Um, we've been asked to commit to a half a segment. And then I think the city is doing the rest, of my understanding. So my initial reaction to this when I went to it was it was very, very costly to do. The more I think about it, and if the city is going to do it, I think it would be a travesty for the bid not to be a part of it, um, because I think it's a great opportunity to get the information about the bid out. Is it is it expensive from a television buy standpoint? Yes, but um, I think it's very pointed, and it's something that can definitely um, augment what's already being done from a marketing standpoint downtown, and. Um, I think it, it would be really good and we'd have a hand in what they they focus on the interesting thing that I found was when we talked to her about what would be the what would she recommend the segments be um, I found it interesting and Anna you were there and Adam and Jay you were there so if there's anything you guys want to kick in um, it was we look for the unique so they're like everybody has a farmer's market everybody says they have the best farmer's market so if you want us to feature your farmer's market find something within your farmer's market that really 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 is unique everybody has a music festival figure out what's really really unique everybody has restaurants figure out what's unique and then that's what they would feature and focus on so it's i think from that perspective is what makes it kind of makes the viewers want to watch it because it's it really gets into to the community itself um the john mcgivern show um uh, we're still i still hear people commenting about that um and that was free so if you know we could get him back that would be great but i think the same thing will happen with this and so i think it would make sense to do the other good thing about it is it's not 5,000 up front, it's 5,000 over three years. So we could take some of the money, if we have extra money in this year's budget, we could take some of it out of this year's budget and pay for some of that or all of it, however we wanted to do it. Um, but, you know, it, it was, it's, I think it's an interesting proposition and I personally believe the bid should support it. When, when do they need to answer by? Because it seems like this falls into the same category that we should wait till after the Commons project. That's a J thing. I don't know the deadlines of timing. There's not a hard and fast deadline. The sooner we say yes, the sooner we get to control, control our own goal as far as um, season selection and show selection specifically but Lisa back to is the salesperson from discover that's been talking to us has been out to a number of communities um, having the same conversations so there's a chance that if we wait too long we might not get in in 2020 and I don't know what the likelihood of that chance is he's we've been inkling towards yes um, but we haven't I have the contract but I haven't signed it yet so the city hasn't signed on yet? Nope, we're waiting on today's meeting in particular. The four segments, maybe just to recap that Mike um, accurately portrayed, we had some meetings with, with MOA, Anna, the uh, Washington County Convention and Visitors Bureau, Elaine, and then we also included Craig Farrell from the chamber. And the four seg segments, they're, they're the four, four and a half to five minute segments is how the show is um, arranged. And one specific segment re regarding MOA, one specific segment regarding the city of West Bend park system, 
uh, Regner in particular and some of the uh, events that go on at that park along with the Eisenbahn Trail and uh, just focusing on the extensive park system that we have here in West Bend. And then one on the festivals or the downtown association specifically, uh, Wheels on Main, Music on Main, and Farmer's Market events that they host on a regular basis. Maybe there's a unique one that's um, either added or, or thought of between now and, and 2020 when that show goes on that they could be a part of featuring as well. And then the fourth segment being the downtown, our unique downtown and bid is the reason that we included Mike in the, a follow-up meeting. We didn't include him in the original meeting, but it, it seemed to make sense to have a, our downtown featured as part of this show as well, and that would be the fourth segment. So funding levels, we've been, we've been talking about uh, the numbers of 5,000 from the Downtown Association. I did appear before their board. They were interested but didn't commit at that meeting. It was, I'll say it was preliminary when we, when we had a chance to chat. So that's, that's fair that they weren't um, in a position to commit. And MOA through Jess has given a, a soft to medium commitment from, for, a, for a $10,000 segment. I won't put her on the spot. She's here, she can speak to that herself. And then the city would certainly contribute the 10,000 segment through our tourism commission uh, funding that's been talked about at a preliminary level with, with them at their last meeting. They have their budget set through the, or preliminary budget set through the tourism commission and not, and not finalized as of yet either. Uh, that'll, that'll happen at their next meeting. And then the thought process, if the bid contributed 5,000, or as Mike mentioned, a half a segment and downtown did a half a segment, the Tourism Commission would be picking up the other half of each of those segments. So the Tourism Commission might be in for as much as 20,000, five, five, and then 10 from MOA. And the, the way Lisa explains it is the, the more an entity puts forward, you control more of the gold for your segment. So if MOA was in, in fact contributing there, so why would, that, why would they want to do that versus saying, hey, let's just do five and talk the tourism into the other five, is that MOA would have a bit of exclusive right to how that segment goes down. The city would still be a part of those discussions, but the entity paying for the 10 grand, Discover Wisconsin says, we, we defer to their wishes and desires for that segment, which makes sense in my little mind at least. Jay, this is a half hour show? It's a half hour show, but it, in fact it's four, four. five minute segments. It's Jay, my, my gut is uh, saying that these four segments might be broken up into four different uh, areas. Uh, one, uh, what it was our motto, live, work, and play. Um, so maybe potentially one of the segments may be uh, utilized by the options of some of the workforce that we have here, the businesses, the great business culture that we have, um, West Bend Mutual, um, uh, some of the old classic businesses that were, were very uh, important to the history of, of West Bend. Um, you know, I, I think it's kind of doubling up in, in my estimation. If, if you ask the bid uh, to participate on one level and the downtown association to participate that seems like a little bit too much overlap already with the with the uh, MOA being a, a part of it it all seems very central to the to the downtown area when I think like you say the parks department has a lot to offer and to show the the Eisenbahn um, the sculptures that we have all over the the community um, you know our, our athletics we have uh, a great high school uh, sports program. Uh, we have the West Bend Bombers. We have great uh, college opportunities uh, for both athletics and education. Um, so, it, if if it, if it, in my estimation, I think the bid wouldn't necessarily need to put additional funds into it. However, this might be one of those chances where we would uh, support. Uh, a group like the Downtown Association with some funding um, to put their put that segment on and represent the the downtown area through through funding or or, or partnership with that uh, aspect of of the entire program. Isn't that what we're contemplating? Is a partnership of our two organizations for a full segment? 
<laughs> so correct. Oh. Well, I no, 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 no. We're looking at they do five thousand, we do five thousand. Yeah. So when when this came, when I was brought into the fold, I was told that downtown had tentatively committed to five thousand. So that's where the other five thousand from the bid came from to come to the ten thousand for the one segment. This to me makes sense because it builds on what you just presented. We do something local like we did last year. This is something more broad ranged. We now have someone else coming to us for money. It makes sense. They're credible. They have tracking. Um, I misunderstood. I'm sorry. I thought we were being asked for a, a quarter of the investment. No. <clears throat> and I'm not opposed. If we have the time, you know, when we talked the last time, there seemed to be a you know, pressure to let's hurry up and get this done. Hearing that downtown hasn't totally solidified, I personally think at this point we think we're showing interest but i think we also have these next four weeks to figure out what's going to happen with the commons and then see where we go with it um and then hopefully anna do you have any idea when your board's going to make a decision i'm getting pointed at in the back we have a board meeting coming up in the next couple of weeks, and we're going to look at our financials and see if this fits within our budget for next year. Okay. So I think with that, I would propose that we wait until November, and then as long as we can do that, I realize that, you know, Lisa wants to get an answer because she wants to sell a, a, a show, and the city would like to know where they're going and get this done. But, um, but then I understand Moa didn't quite – Fully commit no, yet? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I just don't want to speak for Jess. Unless everyone else commits, it doesn't, you know. I think this sounds like a great idea, and I think it hits uh, several key points that I love, which is uh, getting organizations to work together. And I know, Mike, you've made mention of, of uh, you know, having multiple organizations come, and I almost sort of disagree and see the other side, and I'd rather see people work together and come and present a unified plan having all these, you know, uh, that's something I, I've noticed a lot is, you know, when you sort of break up all these ent entities, you lose some of that synergy. Um, and I think this hits that square on the head uh, with getting the city and the downtown and the MOA and the bid. And so um, I would, uh, and the other thing to keep in mind is uh, that uh, something like this, it's very you know it's it's definitely fluid and changing but it's a it's definitely technology driven and so you definitely want to be on the early adopter side of something like this and and i get that waiting uh a month isn't a big deal but it sounds like we're one of the last pieces if if i'm understanding correct um uh that there's been a lot of planning and sort of commitments and and uh, the wheels have been in motion for a while so i would um yeah i will definitely put a motion out there i'd i'd like to uh make a motion to approve uh contributing five thousand um, dollars to this plan especially looking at the fact that it's spread out over the course of three years so we're talking about 1600 bucks a year so that's what I wanted to verify. So it is 100%. You can literally, so you'd have between 18, 19, and 20 to pay the $5,000. Correct. That's and really or 20, 20, 21, yeah. and 22. And there's, and there's no interest. Yeah. It's yeah. kind when of When do no you pay? Burner. Just clarified. I'm just curious. No? 19, 20, and 21 okay, is probably sense. the three years that you pay. But we over. could take, we could earmark some money that's left from this year's budget and push it into mm -hmm. paying that. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't. They're flexible. They yes. wouldn't care if we gave them money up front early. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, so we have a motion. I need a second, and then we can keep going on this. Is this votable? Yeah, it's it's votable. Tom, I'll second it. Okay, so we have a motion, a second. Now we have any other discussion? So, could, could I just add regarding the segment confusion? Because I I don't know that that's been nailed down yet. So I sh I shared with what I think Mike was saying that those are the four segments that our small group has talked about in, in a planning stage so far. Parks, MOA, 
downtown uh, downtown association so events at the downtown and then businesses downtown our unique culture of downtown and our main street focusing on main street mike to your point about west bend mutual and saragraph and regal and some of the historic business entities that we have here are, they are that but they're really not tourism so mm -hmm. and lisa was really really clear to us in those initial meetings that this needs to be a video that attracts people to want to come to downtown for that day weekend thing that that's what this is about not necessarily a recruitment video to move your family here or your business here that's a video that patrick's going to do for us in the in the near future and and one that we're really excited about as well but it's a bit a bit different of a venue for that yeah that was my plug for patrick he's shaking his head behind you just Smile. so you Hopefully know it's this and it's not in a positive way either <laughs> Got it. So, I, and that's help help me clarify that. Thank you. Um, Those four segments haven't been locked in stone. So, if we get a yes and we sign the contract, the first thing that happens is a a vision meeting with Discover Wisconsin and the, and the entities that are putting forth money to get a chance to nail down what those segments are. And so, it's not necessarily. Either way, the investment is $40,000. It right. could be three longer segments or four shorter segments, or is it always four short segments? Four, four and a half to five. So and a half every segment is $10,000. You got MOA for 10, you got the parks for 10, you got downtown for five, that's 25. That leaves 10 for the bid, is what um, he's saying. Five, five for the bid, and, and 10 for tourism. There's your 40. So the, the bid and the downtown association are going to combine for one big downtown sec uh, mm -hmm. section. Is that correct, Jay? Yeah, they would, in effect, be subsidized by the tourism because it, it, it's certainly tourism part of West Bend as well. There's a significant tourism component. So you're asking today for the bid to contribute $5,000 to this endeavor? Over a three-year period, yeah. Got it. Can I suggest an amendment? It should probably be a silly one, but just to make a point that we could uh, make that motion contingent upon the downtown association agreeing to the $5,000 too. Because we're just hearing this today. I've not heard anything before. Everybody else is privy to this. We're kind of the last ones to be asked, and we're making the decision. So just to kind of help motivate them. Makes sense. You okay with amending your motion, Brian? I think we make a commitment and then ask tourism if if uh, the downtown association doesn't come through. I think we just make a commitment to it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I want to amend it necessarily. I was hoping for a partnership. That's what I was hoping to get. No, and Not I get it, and I get it. And I think that even if the downtown association doesn't, I mean, then what they lose out on is the ability to incorporate some of their events I get and stuff I get like that. It. I was just trying to promote a partnership. Yeah, That's all I was I, trying to do. I think I think regardless, it would be great to have a segment because basically what we're signing up for, because if I understood correctly, um, you know, we would contribute $5,000 and, and we would essentially, the bid would get our own segment that would highlight downtown as a whole. Um, the other five is actually being subsidized by tourism. Whereas, you know, uh, the downtown is asking, is being asked for $5,000 and tourism would come in and subsidize their fi their other half. And with their segment, they would get to highlight, you know, more of the events and stuff like that. So I think that's sort of separate. So I have a feeling Jeannie has a proposal because she's standing up there. There's just a few comments I'd like to make. Um, our board did discuss it. We do need to look at the financials next time, which is in two weeks or three weeks. Um, I, I am on the board for the downtown, and most of us are for that. Uh, so we just need one last meeting to make that decision. And if none of you have ever seen this show or gotten the bubbler, I've always wondered why West Bend is not listed to have one of the great um, Bloody Marys or the great old fashions that Brian makes. Um, and I think it's because we've never participated in it. Our community is not in any of those little blurbs about what goes on around Wisconsin. And I think this is a great step to get us involved in this whole organization to help us continue for the future. Sounds like it'll happen anyway. We have a motion and a second. Let's move forward. So in interest of time, we have a motion and a yeah. second. I'm going to call the question. Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. There's your answer, Jay. Um, item four, uh, we have a big event coming up this weekend. You want to quick give us an overview, Adam? 
Yes, uh, Saturday we will ha uh, they will be busing students to um, the MOA parking lot so that they can rest, uh, register at 9 a.m. And then uh, during that time, they're going to filter students down through the, the farmer's market. We've given them a walking map. This is also for the Commons Project. I don't know if we mentioned that yet. And then um, the hub will be providing them with a cup of coffee as they walk around, that sort of thing. And then they can go grab breakfast. Um, somebody's providing breakfast for them as well. And then we will be in the morning at MOA, lunch, then breaking out into some vacant spaces, which I am still in touch with some people. Mike Kathy will yeah, um, keep okay. talking. And I got to get better at my emails. And then uh, what we will do is um, have them come back at four, judges, final presentations. We will be gathering all of that information that we've been given out of all given um and then that'll be packaged up for everybody nicely there's uh two thousand dollars in prizes that the commons is pieced together so that they can just drive um par uh, participation and then um, we could use a few more mentors if you know of anybody but uh, if i could get a handle on how many of the bid board members could be present for the judging portion that would be great What time is the judging again? 4 p.m. Yeah, I can do that. I can be there. Adam, what's the latest you need to know? I've actually got to adjust some flights. What's the latest? Friday's fine. Oh, okay. I'll know before that. Yeah. I'll be available all day. Any other questions? Otherwise, um, I will be sending an email out to the group, just kind of giving you a quick overview what the judges can expect, that sort of thing. Just let me know if you need my conference rooms, if you're planning on those. Um, I was planning on those. Okay. So I just got to send you a note. Yep. Anybody have any other questions? Otherwise, you'll see a bunch of kids running around in gray T-shirts on, on Saturday. So. And now they only wanted T-shirts. Do you know what color those were? Gray. Gray? Okay. Mm -hmm. Gray with blue lettering. Thanks to Who's Ours for donating. Um, okay, last item is, I'm guessing, Brian, the uh, small business think tank. Mm. Oh. Nope, that's me. Okay. Uh, that I just wanted to start noting before these things happen that the small business think tank is meeting. Um, it's just a group of small business owners that just want to support one another. They get in a room, um, actually in the basement of Tap and Tavern. Um, they have a couple of drinks, some, some soda. It's really your preference. And then uh, it, there's questions. They'll go around the table, here's a success story I've had, or here's what's going, on, going well for me. But at the same time, I'm thinking of hiring another position. Who have you guys gone through? Or how are you guys dealing with this workforce or this tax issue or that? And then they're just helping, supporting one another with what's been successful for what they've seen. That's, that's what this is about. Um, so at the bid board meetings, before these things are about to happen, I just wanted to let you know and anybody that would be watching from the downtown, and it's actually open to all of West Bend small businesses, to come in, join us. It's great. There's usually about 20, 25 people down there. So uh, just a good group. That's all. And then any questions on that? When did that start? It's been going on a while, but it really hasn't been known. No. I think that's what Adam's trying to do. Okay. I always forget about them, and I realize a day later that I missed it. So. Is there a repeating date or a time of the month? Or it was the first one was in February. Um, then we did three months in a row, and then things kind of started to fizzle. We took the summer off uh, because everybody gets very busy in the summer. Uh, we're trying to lock down that date of the second Monday of each month, is, or month, or every other month. Um, 7 p.m. also uh, that was kind of the feedback we got because that's when a lot of these small businesses they're just run by those people that also own them so um they that's when they close their doors and they can come in restaurant owners of course they have much different hours but do you have a date 
the next yes, one? I should have mentioned that. That's what I'm looking for. October 8th. On the, oh, sorry. On your, I'm not head. reading that. I'm listening to him. <laughs> no, but a lot of people watch this uh, this bid board meeting. So at 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. October 8th, Monday. Thanks. At the Tappan Tavern. Yes. <laughs> Great old fashions, I heard. Uh, okay, last thing. We just thing. did marketing, by the way. <laughs> um, 2019 bid operating plan. Uh, my understanding is it was approved by the council, so we're good to go with that, correct? Yes. Okay. So, all right. Um, any other items for the agenda for next meeting other than what we already know, the commons and some of that other stuff? If you need anything else, let Adam know. And we'll get them on the agenda. Um, and with nothing, without anything else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved. Thanks, everybody. Good plug. That's a great plug. I love that. <laughs> I knew it was coming too. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Okay. Like, um, no, they said they'd be here, but. Um. So, even if, yeah. All right. even if yeah. tomorrow. Looks good, though. You did a really good job, though. Can we do it? Yeah. We're going to push it down next week or whatever. And what day did you say this time? Get her. So, I didn't know. I didn't know. That's why we were. I was just thinking, oh, we can, in the museum sense, yeah, like, oh, and while well, you're here at that museum, we can come and check out this. Yeah. Sure. Because I think, you know, even if I think. You know, there's some value there to us, even with the mention, because then we could get in on their social media aspect or onto their website, and even if it's... It's, it's not even so much. It's just the idea that you can come to West Bend and go to this, this thing. It's the iconic, you know, short of the Moa building, this is the other greatest building in town. You know, and, right. Yeah, and much, I mean, much like your building, then it's like those two buildings are like the thing that, yeah, and very...
Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I wish it was Sunday. I need this. I need this comments thing done, and then I'm gonna start breathing and working on other stuff.
that number will go up. Oh, uh, that's why they had zip codes. For exactly. For that. Okay. So they can see, okay, we have, you know, we estimate with 25,000 people coming to this event, our survey shows that we've had people coming from, you know, 16,000 of the community. An average person will spend $65 a day in the community to get their visit. So it's, it, it's, yeah, we didn't point out the shed. Yeah, but, but it gives you, it gives you some large numbers and it gives you information. And all I care about, I don't care how you know business and business stuff. I just want to make sure because I feel the true process of this test is best out to make sure that it's and if you can get them to say, okay, Eva, what was your uptake for? And I would say you have, I would say that to participate to get it, they got to do it. You just say, what was your uptake? And I would never tell you my dollar. Well, right, it's a sales thing. You said, hey, my uptake from year over year, you know, we did this last year and we did it this year, and we went up ten percent. And then take all that and give you an answer and say that we had an average uptick of 10% of new business. That's all I'm going to do. I want to make sure it's Go to her, if you tell her that you always have to keep track of this so you can survey that. And when he brings it up, he say, well, you never gave me any numbers. Well, but he can. Okay, well, see you later. I know. Thanks for the time, Brandon. Hey, good work. It wasn't me. Well, got him to vote. No, Sixteen hundred a year. I question why the man made the change. I just, all, like I said, all I want to do when I'm asking this question is I just want to make sure that it wasn't just nine thousand dollars. It's making a difference on the business system. That's all I want to say. I think Tony took offense at it, but I don't think it's gonna last. Oh no, he'll keep going. No, no, no. But I mean, I don't think he's offended. But initially, it sounded like he was offended because no, he's not. What do you mean? You know, it's worth your while. Well, you know, well, like I kind of the time that we have put into it. I understand. I really I'm going through it right now for my thirty minute meeting. No, you have to be responsible. Come up with, come, you know, if you have that information, bring that to us. Yeah, you know, have it. I yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I think that it's really good to have it. If you aren't collecting it, you should have it in. You should be spelling it for us and that stuff. Why do you it? Because the other thing I was going to say, yes, you guys, I mean, I personally think, I don't know if you're going to now, but I mean, I no, that's what we've been told. But the only way you can go to is the same work that how many heads you put that. Right. And it was one day that comes to But no, but you can say, but if you can say, I'll be able to go to the next one, but when you're next one, you go to the next one, you go to the next one, you go to the next one, and then you do similar to the next one, and say, okay, I'll bring you in this many people, I'll bring you in this many people, I'll bring you in this many people. That's the question that I have had, I have heard numerous times about your plan. People are like, who is it? It's impacting the city. It's costing us a ton of money. It's impacting the city. Why are you going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to say There's no impact. It's all over the place. This is actually my plan. You close the business across the street from you and put a food tent up right across the street. If I was in a community, I'd be saying, no way, you can't be doing that. You can't put your business in some place else. Because you're impacting the business. I work as a young man on a racing thing and I work as a community and I work as a student. 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 For the course of that time period, I put on this event. That's why it costs for a street breaks on in the community. Mm -hmm. But then they also, like Detroit, mm -hmm. and very popular, so they look at it and they come back and say, okay, we closed down your state park for 30 days. Mm -hmm. We donated, you know, over
over the last how many years we've been doing this, with a hundred million dollars to update this park, and our economic impact we get to the credit is hundred and thirty million dollars a week that we do this. So how do they argue that? You can't. But if you don't have numbers, even if they're minuscule numbers to start with, if you have those numbers, it's a simple way to call it that. And that's what Tony's been driving on. Mike's driving on. But you know what? Right. It's not totally what you are. You can't replace the brain people to come. Who's going to go to you? It's a tone. Are you going to go to you? Do you have a mold in this? You're wondering why I'm watching this? Well, you saw what it is. I have to say, in the last 10 years, so the bigger the mayor, 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 in a vital commercial area like that, the value of everything, the buildings, your business, and a lot of the guys are talking about service down here. A lot of the guys in the service industry down there own their own buildings or they're renting out with people. You know what I would what I wish would happen? You know, I hope that we can get the downtown. Okay. So viable. That the big brothers can get sick. Yeah. Yeah. The Bruner Law offices, whoever else, the service industry that I'm in. It makes more sense for me to sell this building and get out of here. Go someplace else so we can get more detail downtown. But the reason we have those businesses is that now we have the building value so robust that I mean, think about it. Big brothers and big sisters had enough money to invest in real estate for their office versus renting. That's absurd. That shouldn't be a that shouldn't happen. They own that building, but they shouldn't be able. To, the building value is not going to be that low.
Well, that's what I mean, though. We don't, you we don't couldn't get anybody to move on them. No, because right. nobody was willing to uh, in a while. Because there's no revenue coming out. You don't get revenue coming out. Yeah, but they weren't even willing to accept like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Crack window? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cool. No. But, but they, you know, I get it, but it's, we got to get the batteries better than that than everything else. And the river walks are going to be the same thing. Okay. I'm not against you. I just want to. I also believe we have a fight. 